Grew up in a family that literally my parents, if I came home covered in mud from playing tackle football, they'd be like, how'd it go? It was never like, honey, that's not really ladylike. You shouldn't be doing that. Never. I was competitive naturally, and I wanted to win, and I was scrappy, and I think that's probably what helped me the most when I look back on growing up and being around people who said it was okay as a young woman to be like that. Stanford, first and foremost, in my mind, had this great balance, which it still does, of course, today, of academics and athletics. And then I also was drawn to the fact that the program was young and in its infancy and needed some help. I like that challenge. Favorite Olympic moment would probably be in 96 in Atlanta. And we're playing on our home soil. It's our first ever Olympics for women's soccer. And here we're doing it at home. And we're in the gold medal match and winning it. And I remember, you know, doing that lap after the game and thinking, ah, okay, people are gonna finally understand what this team's about. The Julie Fowdy Sports Leadership Academy was born when, after I retired from playing on the national team. And I just felt like, gosh, we shouldn't just be teaching a young girl how to kick a soccer ball or how to play sports. We should be teaching them all that sports gives you, this gift about confidence and self-esteem. And uh, I just feel like there's so much in my life I've learned from playing that I then transfer over to real life. So many wonderful life lessons, dealing with adversity, you know, you know, loving failure. What I found is it's amazing to see the transformation in a, in a young girl or a young woman who is maybe lacking confidence, who suddenly realizes I don't have to be a president or a person in a position of power or a politician or a celebrity to lead. I can be me and I can do it quite well. Live television is, is about as close as you can get to sports competition at the highest level, right? And, and so I find that to be fascinating. I get competitive with that. I like that they allow me to do a lot of sit downs and interviews and features and dig into different topics. I think my biggest surprise has been my evolution personally. When I first got into television, you're worried about how you sound or how you look and am I saying the right things? Am I making a certain portion of the population angry with this comment? And then you get to a point where you're like, I don't really care anymore, actually. I'm just gonna be me and I'm gonna talk and if they like it, they like it. And that has been the most liberating feeling. You know, I don't think about my playing days a lot. I don't think back. I'm super proud of what we did as a team. We were always about the bigger picture of inspiring girls to be and do more. Uh, and that's what I'm most proud of when I think I look back. I don't look back on World Cups or Olympic titles. I look at, you know, we showed a lot of young women and young, young men what's possible. And that, I think, is a tremendous honor.